a word of appreciation to all of those who did not choose to be ignorant and indifferent to what is happening here to me, to the hostages of Europe. This is Anvarni Lufari. The people shall also know me as hostages of Europe. I am recording this from my protest site at the doorsteps of the Office of the United Nations Refugee Agency, UNHCR, in Athens, Greece, where I am now on day 55th of my second hunger strike. In fact, I have been on protest here for over the past 41 months and was also initially on hunger strike as well for 64 days. Although many may not acknowledge it, but the fact of the matter is that I have been kept hostage and deprived of everything in Greece of even livelihoods for as many as six years. And all these many years and months of continued protest and hunger strike, I have always been left alone, suppressed, tormented, and was also targeted by different people, affiliated with different entities who have been aiming at nothing but my failure, repeatedly trying to vilify my character and silence my voice with their ultimate goal of eventually starving me to death and covering it up. But many, many thanks to some compassionate people, among them are leaders, elites, and concerned individuals who have shown the courage and the will and stepped forward and offered help. Things might now be moving in a different direction. Which is why I am now taking this opportunity to thank them all for, as opposed to many, but they did not choose to turn a blind eye to this ongoing atrocity, and for it may encourage others as well to take action now and stop being ignorant and indifferent to what is happening here to me, to the hostages of Europe. I thank Reza Pahlavi, the Crown Prince and one of the leaders of the Iranian opposition for openly expressing his concerns and support to this cause, for showing us that he cares when everyone else stood still, did not say a word and offered no help. I thank Princess Yasemin Pahlavi as well as Masih Ali Nijad for showing their solidarity and support with me, for standing against this ongoing oppression and for speaking up and spreading the word. And also special thanks to Arash Hampai for his continued presence here over the past 10 days for becoming my voice when I was too tired to maintain my social presence and for standing beside me even, even in detention when no one else had the courage to do the same. I am very grateful to you all and yes, indeed, I will look forward getting more help and support from you till this oppression ends and I will eventually find a way out of this ugly place and settle in Canada, US or Australia. I hope that your continued support will encourage many more, lending me their help and support and to become part of this unbalanced, completely unfair and unjust fight and say no to all those who have been recklessly and relentlessly infringing upon my fundamental rights and trying to oppress and enslave me in this ugly country. I also hereby call on everyone, especially other refugees who find themselves stuck here with nowhere to go and no way out to come and join me in support of this cause. For me, it benefits us all at the end, for if they didn't do anything for themselves, then shall not expect others to do it for them. And this is a real emergency. I once again call upon you all to stop being ignorant and indifferent to what is happening here and take action now. For nothing like this should happen to anyone, anywhere, and no one should be put through a situation 
like this. Thank you very much for your time and attention. Yours respectfully. And where Nilo Ferry? Today is Sunday, August 16, 2020. Thank you all. I appreciate your help and support. And have a good day.